hello and welcome back guys so in this video i'll show you how to use ssh okay so here i have a subsystem running on my pc which is kali so if i show you my ip iw if config if config and then if you check over here my ip is this right whereas if i go to powershell and then all I have to do is SSH uh, first of all if you have not installed SSH in your Kali system most of it are in your Linux so it might not be Kali only right so all you need to do is sudo apt get install open SSH server okay so if you do that you will be prompted for your password enter your password and then it will basically show like it's already been satisfied or not after that all you need to do is check whether your SSS is open or not okay so sudo super user do uh, sudo service SSH status first of all I'll just check the status so it's saying SSHT is running right so if it's not running all you need to do is sudo SSH and then start 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 okay so now it will say something like this starting open bst secure cell server sssg right again and then check the status now your status should be running okay uh, what i could do is i can just so you stop and then stop right and then i can just start again so if i show you the status now you can see ssg is not running right so now again I'll just start it and then it's running so now if I show you the status it should be running so it's running now right so let's check for our IP our IP is over here and then so this is my Windows PowerShell right so SSH and then Kali at the rate 172 dot this is my host name the user Kali right I'm trying to access that 28.123.213 so I'll be, I'm prompted for my password right I'll just enter my password and press enter now I'm boom I'm inside this system so they, let's see if I do IW config oh if config let's check my IP see my IP it's 213 right I'm inside the Linux subsystem right so I'm inside another operating system you can definitely control any remote computer from a command line like this okay so now if I do exit right and then I'll just show you my IP config okay so see my IP what's my IP over here my IP is 100 right 1.100 100. so uh, see I was in that particular system right in that uh, in the Kali operating system so you can basically be controlling any kind of system which are further away so it was basically an open standard uh, for communication between computers so it was developed in 1990s and you can do a lot of things with it but the first thing is getting your foot into it and then connecting it okay so let me show it to you again so from here what I'll try to do is I will try to connect to another PC that I have uh, and the IP is something like this and I'm again prompted for my password right enter and then see now I'm inside that PC so if I just show you if config and then first of all let's check our IP our IP is 172 right so if I'm inside this particular PC if I'm um, doing SSH into it I'm connecting to that PC my IP should be that particular IP right so if I do IP config check my IP so now I'm inside that PC so now I can do whatever I want right so this is how we basically establish uh, SSH connections in between two different PCs so if you have any further questions regarding this you can definitely comment down below or you can definitely ask me I'll definitely help you out so yeah if you have any problems like you sometimes you might have like SSH is not running so what you could do is just install it sudo apt get install a, a, a open SSH server and then check for the status whether it's running or not and then just uh, 
change the running thing okay and sometimes what can happen is that sometimes your router may block it as well okay so sometimes your router may mm, let me show it to you your router may block mm, sshd config okay so sometimes your router may block that particular port so you might have to change the port number as well so if i go over here if you see over here you can just change the port number from here so you can just uncomment this and then change the port to two two uh four five two two zero zero right right so you can just just make it a different port okay so sometimes the router might uh, have a setting like it, it might have access control list which could be blocking um SSH port so you could definitely get around with it so that's all for this particular video if you need any information uh, regarding that kind of thing i can definitely help you out until next time take care bye bye